Noxious Games Studio. Warning, this game contains jump scares, loud sounds, blood, and violence. That's just how I like them. For a better experience, use headphones, turn the volume up, adjust the game settings as desired, play in the dark, play alone, and focus on the story. All solid advice. Of course, it would help if there was any sound so far. I mean, there's been a little, but... Oh, there we go. Welcome! So leave me alone. I don't know what it's talking about, but uh, let's check the options really quick. Uh, no, this looks nice. So, about. Oh, okay. None of that is important right now. So, yeah, let's play. Let's play Leave Me Alone. Let's see what this is. Shift to run. C to switch camera. What does I mean switch camera? Oh! Oh, you can go first per- Ooh, that's quite the head bob. All right, I'm sticking with third person. Ooh. There aren't these some interesting angles? All right, I guess this hallway is just to get you acquainted with the controls. Yep, that is indeed a door. You're gonna go through it? Oh! Now that's a knife. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm ever so bothered by this turn of events. Leave me alone. I better get ready to meet up with Noah and go camping. You better. I need to grab the backpack and as a precaution, a lighter in case we decide to make a campfire. All of that sounds like a good idea. Whoa. Retrieve your backpack and lighter. Okay, uh, the way he just kind of spins in places. We up. Oh, okay, we're going on top of the bed. <laughs> this is a completely barren room, man. Okay. Hey, sweet, a PlayStation One. What kind of games you got? Got ourselves a kitchen here. And I guess that's the ladder. Yep. Leave the house. Why? Oh, that's a loaf of bread. I thought that was like a carton of milk just topped over on the counter. That would have been weird. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Got my stuff. Let's go. Oh. Well. Not that my channel was monetized, but uh. There goes any chance of that. I am grooving, though. <laughs> Maybe find a sound alike next time, okay? Hey, Noah. Excited for this adventure in the forest. Almost as excited as I Absolutely, am. Absolutely, Jackson. This getaway is going to be the best. Nothing like a good dose of nature to escape the everyday chaos. I'm sorry, totally were these agree. voices made hey, with a freaking uh, voice has a program stories. like Microsoft Sam or something? Legends of things that roam at night. Oh, legends, huh? Ah, you know how those stories go. Just legends to add more excitement to the experience. It won't be anything major. Just two guys enjoying the outdoors. Just guys being but guys. You're right. But seriously, what would you do if we encountered something bizarre out there? Run? <laughs> Man, if I saw something strange, I'd run faster than a scared squirrel. But on a serious note, don't worry, we'll be fine. It's just a camping trip. Nothing major is going to happen. You always manage to reassure me, Noah. Let's make the most of the night. We are speaking very naturally, as humans do. Ooh, what's this now? What's that following them?
Whispering Woods. Well, doesn't that sound pleasant? Just totally chill and relaxed. A place where nothing bad could possibly happen. No killers wielding giant machetes. No monsters lurk in the woods at night. Just two men exploring themselves and each other. Finally, we've arrived. Love the t-shirt, dude. Finally, we've arrived. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get to it. How about this, Jackson? You set up the tent, and I'll go gather some wood for the campfire. What do you think? All right. I'll start setting up the tent. <laughs> this sounds like a fucking educational video. Good grief. Okay. Set up the tent. Yeah, but where? Oh. <laughs> I guess I just set it up wherever the fuck I want, huh? All right. Boom. Retrieve the backpack from the car. Sure thing. Whoa. These angles, man. <laughs> the way he's just holding it in one hand, swinging it around. Oh, I'm very amused so far. Receive the lantern from the car. Okay. Yoink. Got a lantern. Let's put that over here. Explore the map and wait for Noah. Wait, you want me to just run around randomly? Or... Okay. There is a route over there, so there's somewhere I can go. I can't just chill in the tent until he shows up? Nope. Alright, well, we got a couple paths, so I guess we'll look around for a bit. That's mildly confusing. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, the head bop is insane on this one. Okay, I'm gonna get lost, aren't I? I hate this immediately. Wait, what is this? What did I find? An old building. In the middle of absolutely nothing, huh? Well, that's interesting and definitely won't come into play later. Boy, this guy has great cardio. Look at him go. What is this? A graveyard? It sure looks like one. Oh. Oh. That's not great. Title, Macabre Discovery in Whispering Wood Cemetery. September 19th, 1982. The tranquility of the peaceful Whispering Woods Forest was once again disrupted by a sinister discovery when a body was found in the local cemetery. Residents who frequent the forest for outdoor activities and visit the cemetery are perplexed by the disturbing event. Details are still scarce, but initial reports indicate that a passerby discovered the body during a morning walk through the cemetery. Authorities were immediately alerted and are conducting a thorough investigation to determine the victim's identity, as well as the circumstances that led to this ominous discovery. The area around the cemetery has been temporarily cordoned off in an invest as investigators seek evidence and clarification of the incident. So far, there is no information on eyewitnesses or possible suspects. Residents are expressing growing unease, reigniting old rumors and dark stories associated with the forest and the cemetery. Authorities are appealing for community collaboration, urging anyone with relevant information to come forward to assist in solving this dark mystery. The investigation is ongoing, and updates will be provided as more information emerges. Okay, interesting. Also, I believe it said Noah is back. So let's go check on him. Hey Noah, I, uh, I found a cemetery with an actual coffin just above ground, and a newspaper article talking about murders in the area, but this place is still fine for camping. We can do that. I'm just gonna explore over here too while I'm at it, just to make sure I see everything. Sorry Noah. Oh, okay, I can't. <laughs> well, fuck that then. Alright Noah, what's up? Hey Jackson, I brought the firewood. Let's set up the campfire. It's getting late. No shit. Jackson, do you have something to light the campfire? No, I left light. my lighter at home. It's in the car. I'll go get it. Maybe figure that shit out before you start making a fire. <sighs> Let me guess, it's missing now. Nope, I should have it right here. Boom. 
This looks like a fun trip. Like the warmth of a good campfire to ward off any weird feelings in the forest. Really? I agree, Nora. Sometimes it's good to escape the urban routine and enjoy nature. <laughs> Are you people even human? Speaking of which, how about telling some spooky stories? They say it's a camping tradition. Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. I have one to start. <laughs> Ever heard of the local legend of the Silent Trail Ghost? Oh, tell me. Tell me about the Silent Trail Ghost. No, I haven't. What's that story? They say, many years ago, a lone traveller got lost in this forest. He walked a narrow trail, but was never seen again. They say now, at night, you can hear his silent footsteps wandering through the forest, as if still searching for his way home. Oh, no. Well, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained. But there's always something eerie about this forest, don't you think? Which is why we chose to camp here. Imagination plays tricks on us. But hey, we're here to have fun. No ghosts are going to To have fun us. by sitting on our asses and staring at each other oh, and okay. doing literally nothing else. No booze, no music, no camp games, just <laughs> no lake nearby to go fishing, not a ball to play with, like nothing. <laughs> we're just going to sit here and stare at the fucking fire. All right. Noah, it's very late, and I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, all this fun we're having has tired me out. I'm exhausted. All right. Good night, Noah. Good night, Jackson. You're going in the same tent. <laughs> God damn it! So far, nothing about this makes any sense. You're sleeping with the lighter out. Oh, oh, that's the campfire. Wait, you went to sleep without- I'd better wake up Noah. Dousing the fire? I am loving no, this. What is he? Wait, wait, wait. So one of them slept outside, and you slept in here without a sleeping- God damn it. Like, <laughs> this fucking game. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and bet that I gotta take the path I couldn't take before. Over hereabouts somewhere, right? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, I mean, I just want to explore here. Uh huh. Oh, that's a big old field. Oh, there's a little building here. Isn't this interesting? It's locked. How do you know? You weren't even at the door. Oh, guess I found an open window. This is the sensible, <laughs> sensible thing to do in this situation. Uh, Mystery in the Whispering Woods Forest, January 27, 1983. In a shocking turn of, a we of events, oh god, sorry, the serene whispering woods forest known for its tranquility has become a stage for a mysterious incident. Authorities were alerted after the discovery of disturbing evidence suggesting a possible murder deep within the forest. Details are scarce at the moment, but sources indicate the incident occurred during the night, adding a layer of mystery to the occurrence. Authorities have not confirmed the identity of the victim or the possible perpetrator, keeping details under wraps as the investigation is ongoing. Local residents have expressed shock and concern about the situation, recalling urban legends and old stories associated with the forest. So far, there are no reports of eyewitnesses to the incident, contributing to the enigma surrounding the events. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, basically the same shit as last time. Lots of tools in here. And a lot of trash on the floor. That doesn't bode well for anyone. Okay. So I can't open this door over here, for some reason. Hmm, nice little living room. Got yourself a TV. Okay. Oh! Fuck me! You can't just do that! At least let me enter the freaking room! Well, I guess that's Noah dead. Hi! <laughs> Oh, he seems friendly. Right? Time to get the fuck out of here. 
Oh, did I just... Yep, I just caught myself. Wow! Buddy! Okay, back where I came from. <laughs> back out through the window, quickly! And we run. Not that way. Okay, better get the fuck out of here. Probably to watch... I mean, just get to the car and leave, man. Oh, there he comes. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> this is dumb. Alright. To the car, to the car, to the car, to the car, to the car! Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, that doesn't work? Okay, go- oh, Here it comes! <laughs> Can't catch me! Can't catch me! Can't catch me! Look at him go! I'll give you this! You're persistent! <laughs> Are you serious, man? So is he still chasing me? Or... Oh! Now we're back where we started. And he dropped the lantern for some fucking reason. Alright, here we go. Let's see what the deal is. Do I just die now? Shit. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah, there we go. Nope. <laughs> Did you think that was gonna work, dude? That's the whole thing? Are you for real? That's the whole thing. I, that can't be right. That can't be the whole thing. Oh, Jesus, why? What am I supposed to do? What? This game just... ...boot you right out. This is leave... All right, well, apparently that is the whole thing. That was <laughs> ridiculous. Um, I mean, I get it. You just want to make a quick little slasher story. It's totally fine. And I guess finding Noah was kind of effective because it just suddenly happens. I don't know, man. This, this, <laughs> this was about as bare bones as it gets. I love the aesthetics of it. I love the visual side of, the, of everything. Very nostalgic. Uh, <laughs> but... Get some actual voice actors, or do it yourself with a friend. Like, I'd rather have that than whatever. I don't want to say AI, but whatever that was. That was, I mean, it did make it very funny, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I mostly just got to laugh out of this one. Thanks for watching, I guess. Bye. Yeah.